Johnny Gordon, how y'all doing? Do this. All right, awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm from the San Francisco comedy community, uh, so it's kind of great to be in the Humboldt Nation. Hello, Eureka. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, a little bit about me. I, I was born um, Irish and Catholic. You know, I was a good Catholic the day I have to give up something for Lent, so this year I gave up my New Year's resolution. <laughs> no, I, but growing up Catholic, you know, and Irish, you know, it has its advantages. We have Multicultural Ethnic Day with my day job. You know, uh, they, they seek to bring in food from your culture. So one person brought in, like, kimchi. Another person brought, like, Korean naan. I brought in a box of Lucky Charms. Yeah, yeah, got it. Irish, lucky charms. Yeah, but but Irish get their own holidays, you know. But but sometimes, uh, and same thing with the Catholics. But the thing is that sometimes the Catholic holidays match up with the federal holidays. A good example of this is Columbus Day. And my thing about Columbus Day is, I don't get it. He 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 gets a holiday for getting lost. He's trying to find a spice route to to India, and he ends up in the Caribbean, which is like the last time I checked, slightly off course. The typical man didn't ask directions, you know? All he had to do, go into any 7-Eleven, and they could have told him where India was. I'm just saying. You know, I want to come out with the Columbus GPS, yeah. Columbus GPS, it sends you where he never intended to go. Formerly Apple Maps. <laughs> okay, any parents here? Okay, I'm gonna move on to uh, Thanksgiving in a minute, but parents, wait on, because I'm gonna talk to you about Christmas in a minute. Okay, Here, here's the thing about Thanksgiving. I don't understand it as a holiday, because, I mean, I understand, like, you know, you, you, you're thankful for what you have. That's fantastic, you know, a holiday where you're thankful for what you have. But the story of the first Thanksgiving makes no sense to me. Yeah, the, the first Thanksgiving, it's a story about the white people that came into the neighborhood, you know, uh, because it's always about white people. And, and, and they came into the neighborhood, and they were, and they were starving. And so the, so the Indian people, they felt sorry for them, and they fed them. And you know what they say, once you feed them, they'll never go away. I, I, I personally don't know about the second Thanksgiving. Nobody ever talks about this, you know. The second Thanksgiving is, is when the Indian people uh, were, were cold and the white people gave them blankets. <laughs> <laughs> little smallpox joke for y'all. Yeah. Actually, I'm proud of that joke, actually. Um, okay, so, so parents. Okay, I, I left you with a little cliffhanger. Here's the thing. You tell your kids all year long, don't talk to strangers, don't talk to strangers. And then you sit them on Santa's lap and you wonder why they cry. <laughs> really? Is it that or is it because Santa's creepy? I mean, who else can get away with saying stuff like, sit on my lap, little girl, and uh, tell Santa what you really want. <laughs> Have you been naughty? <laughs> Do you want to be in my nicest? <laughs> Are you a ho, ho, ho? Do you want me to fill your stocking with something yummy? Yes, I've been watching you. I know when you're sleeping, yes. And I know when you're awake, yes. Do you want me to... Well, come here, little girl. Do you want to suck on my candy cane? It's just creepy. It's just creepy. It's almost as creepy as Jared. I'm just saying. And he fresh. fresh. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and here's the thing about Jared. I just figured this out. Okay, so Jared was sentenced for the child porn thing. He was sentenced to, from like 6 to 12, which I think is ironic because that's his preferred age range. Oh. I'm just saying, you know. I had a little extra time today, so I, I was over at, um, where was I? I was over at uh, Target, and, and I saw a kid on a leash. You guys see that kid on a leash? You know, I prefer my, I was thinking about, all I can think about, actually, let's, that, 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 that. All I can think about is I prefer my kids to be free range. <laughs> no, because the taste better. Put an apple in their mouth, put them on a rotisserie spit, make sure they're grain fed. They taste delicious. Just like chicken. Did, did, did I go too far? It's finger licking good. <laughs> exactly. And, and thank you for that. Thank you for that. Uh, but, but, but see, I have, I have an overactive imagination, uh, but I have also, also have ADD, so my very next thought went from that uh, to prostitutes. <laughs> now, there's a study that came out that said the highest rate of STDs among prostitutes is in Utah. The lowest by far is in Nevada. So what I'm telling you, if you really want to gamble, go to Utah. <laughs> that, that's what I'm telling you. Um, how, okay. 
I, I will leave you guys with this thought. By the way, you guys have been awesome. You know, so it's, it's awesome being up here in the humble nation. So my name is Johnny Corn. I'll leave you with this thought for the day. The best protection against identity theft is bad credit. <laughs> I'm Johnny Corn. Have a great tomorrow. Thanks. One more time for Johnny Corn. The next comedian, we had the pleasure of playing with.